let's talk about some forecasting. So what is forecasting? Well, forecasting is a tool for your sales team to allow your sales team to understand what opportunities are close to closing in your pipeline. And the reason why this is important is because you get a good handle of what you can expect coming in in terms of revenue for your company. Uh, which is a huge indicator on the performance of your sales team, as well as the performance of your company. Uh, you'll be able to identify early through your forecasting uh, what kind of uh, performance gaps there are, what bottlenecks there are in the pipeline, if there are any. Um, it gives you insight at all levels of the company, all the way from your VP or owner, all the way down to the actual uh, account manager that are closing these opportunities themselves. So they get to see all of this. Now, this is really good because you need to understand what money you're going to receive in the near future to understand what you can do next as a company. So this is why forecasting is important. So after you've enabled forecast for your organization, you want to go ahead and you want to define which users should have access to forecasting in the organization. And to do that, as a system ad uh, admin, you want to go to the users menu in setup. And you want to be able to apply an uh, option within each user's record, which is the allow forecasting option. Once this is applied, this gives them access to view their forecasting records within Salesforce. Now, this gives you a, a very granular level of control to basically go in user by user and define who should have access to their forecast records and who shouldn't. So once that's enabled and you hit save, you want to then go ahead and set up your forecast hierarchy, which is the next step. So your forecast hierarchy is taking in the role hierarchy that you've defined for your company. And what you do here is you're defining which, um, you're defining basically who has access to view other users' forecasting records as well as edit their forecasting rec records. So the limitation though, that is different than a uh, role hierarchy where you can view records for anyone that is below you in the hierarchy. For a forecast hierarchy, you can only view and edit forecasting records for users that are one level below you only, which means if I am the SVP of sales and marketing, I will have access to view and edit forecast records for the VP of international sales, VP marketing, as well as VP North American sales. That does not mean I have access to view and edit forecasting records for the Eastern sales team because they are more than one level below me. So for that reason, I want to go ahead and I want to set up the forecast managers who should have access to modify any of the forecasts for those roles that are one level below them in the forecast hierarchy. So because I'm already of the role of director direct sales, you'll notice I have this assigned manager option, which allows me to go ahead and assign a forecast manager. You can only have one forecast manager per role in the forecast hierarchy that has the responsibility or has the ability to view and edit any of their um, subordinates forecast records that are one level below them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send myself as the forecast manager and I'm going to hit save. So now that I'm the forecast manager, I should be able to not only view and edit my forecasting records that I've set up, I should be able to view the forecasting records that have been set up by my Eastern sales team, as well as my Western sales team. Now, in order for me to verify this, I actually want to go back into my users. And I want to make sure I have a user in either one of those roles. And as you can see, I do have one user associated to the Eastern sales team, Marco Forster. So I can, I should be able to now go ahead in the forecasting in Salesforce and view Marco Force, the Marco for Marco. Wow. I'm having a tough time pronouncing that Marco Forster's forecasting records, <laughs> as well as be able to edit 
his forecasting record. So let's go ahead and verify that. So let me go into our sales app. And here we are. You'll see the forecast tab is right at the very end there. Let me click forecast. As Marco Forrester's forecast manager, I have access to see his forecasting records as well as I have access to see my own forecasting records. You'll notice the opportunities that make up that forecast record shows up below for myself as well as Marco Forrester. Another thing I want to highlight is the fact that I can modify his forecasting records by placing a forecast adjustment. So for this particular commit forecast, I can go ahead and change the amount from 100 to 150 and hit save. And there you are. It makes note of it. It shows my name as someone who went in and actually made uh, a, an adjustment to Marco Forrester's forecasting record. And he'll be able to see this as well. And that's the power of forecasting hierarchies. Thank you.